off a weekend of rousing party conventions. Let's go! I'm ready, are you ready? The race for Minnesota governor becomes more of a fight today. State Representative Aaron Murphy captured the DFL endorsement in Rochester, but today fellow DFLer Congressman Tim Walls and running mate Peggy Flanagan will still file for governor and lieutenant governor at 1030 in St. Paul. Republicans spent the weekend in Duluth endorsing Hennepin County Commissioner Jeff Johnson. It creates an excitement and an energy amongst grassroots Republicans on the ground. He's got a big fight ahead. Johnson faces former Minnesota Governor Tim Pawlenty, who did not seek the party's endorsement. Pawlenty and running mate Lieutenant Governor Michelle Fischbach will spend today traveling the state trying to nab voters. The gubernatorial battle wages on, leading up to the primary on August 14th. All right, so let's talk about these party conventions because do they really matter? Hmm. Well, it's been several elections since the Republican Party's endorsement went on to become governor and for the DFL party, nearly 50 years. A prime example of wow. this is Governor Mark Dayton. When he first won election eight years ago, he wasn't even endorsed by the DFL. Huh, that's interesting. I guess yeah. candidates have so many other ways to get their messages out these Absolutely. days. Absolutely, social Less media reliant. is huge. Yeah. yeah. Allery, thank you. Yeah.